What's good, YouTube? It's today's video, man. This tells me on aquatics, and I'm back here with another video, man. It might be a long time, probably a month since you guys have seen me, but I do have small clips. I just don't have everything. Life has been life right now, if you guys get what I mean. But I'm back. I decided to give you guys a clean video, so this one's gonna be a little different. It's probably gonna be like a little 30 minute video, so make sure you guys tune in, like, like, subscribe, comment down below what you guys think about these 30 minute videos, and also share some of your thoughts and interests about your hobby as well. But for the most part, yes, man, I have done a lot of work while I've been off camera, but for the most part, I added tons of new fish. I have about 70 goldfish in here, but these guys will i actually this pond was actually dirtier it was way it was super nasty but the goldfish cleaned it up as you guys can see it looks a little bit better it looks lower on camera but it's actually pretty high so that's just how it's gonna look until i do gopro footages or whatnot but yeah for the most part i, I did catch like Two blue, I caught, no, not two blue, I caught like 12 bluegill and one baby striker bass, which they all float around together. I'm not able to see them, but when I walk around, they're gonna move away from me. So. I know you guys see the gold, the bluegill is like the hot, so you can see them shoot up. Look at that hot. It might be a there under that cave. There you go, dang. Hope they don't hop. There you go, dang, look at them. Ooh. That's a big bluegill too for you guys that don't know. Or did not see that bluegill, but they're hiding back here like they made their own little den. This is just something I just put in here because I had some stuff laying around, but. It's like 12 of them in here and a baby scrapper bag. Yeah, I don't know if you guys saw them shoot out, but they hide in the car, bro. That's down here. I really do want to clean this out, though. But I just leave it in here because it makes a mess when you stir it all up. And I just changed the filtration, too. Dang, they move so quick. It's literally just sitting right here. Like, but I think it's going to take them some time to really acclimate. But... Once I get this pond like super crystal clear, which the only reason it's not is because I haven't scrubbed the bottom, but I kind of wanted to give like some peckles and some algae eaters a chance to actually grow and get all the nutrients before I take it out. So that's definitely what's in here. I do have two peckles that's in here as well, baby peckles. So you guys probably won't see them now, but you will see them when they are big enough because they just hiding out right now, but they're eating a ton of algae. And as you can see, it's on the wall, like some of that green stuff on the wall over there. But I need to get my GoPro active so I can actually show you guys because I know in this, outside of this water, like they're really good hiders. Like they can still hide all day. Goldfish can seem to put the field, but from what I see from a standpoint, they do not like goldfish. They don't hang with them. They might eat them when they get big enough, but who knows? But yeah. The brim are definitely holding it off by hiding very much. I also never showed you guys my filtration system, which I took the top off. I took a couple things out, but it's just a trucker system, and I have it going through like two layers of fiber. Not fiber, but that, is, that might be what it is. Instead of the pad, it's like this straight cotton fiber. So that what keeps my water super pure. Pure, obviously it's not, it, does, it looks clear on camera, but to me it's not as clear as I would like it to be. But that's probably gonna have to add more carbon, which I do not have at the moment. So give me a minute on that. But I'm trying to find these guys, I really can't turn. There's no way in here. And it's like, 12 of them too, so some of them probably hide that rock. The big one is in here. I don't know who made this, but I 
I ain't gonna kill them. I ain't not kill them, but I'm not gonna really try to chase them down. I'm just gonna pluck up the GoPro. And then I have to add that footage, but I see one right now actually. I hope you guys I'm gonna zoom in. They sit right there. video with like cleaning out all the debris and things like that showing you guys how I actually clean it which is not really long if I do that video I might not do the scrubbing and stuff I might just do that off camera because that'll be it the video always gonna be a pretty lengthy video itself so that being said I'm gonna take you guys inside and show you guys the tanks and then we're gonna be off on another mission and that might be it but for the most part man smash the like button turn on post notifications and be sure to share this video. This video can make some money today. So make sure you guys share the video. But for the most part, I catch you guys in the fish. Alright, YouTube. So I am back, you guys. And you have the lemon Oscar tank. First, I want to start that lemon Oscar tank. And as you guys can see, the lemon Oscar is doing amazing. The color is going absolutely crazy. Like, you guys just take a look. And then I just did a water change too as well. So you guys can definitely see that. But I had this for about a month now, and she's doing pretty good. She's actually kicking it with the goldfish. But I did make a video also about the other lemon Oscar. I don't know where that lemon Oscar is, nor where it's at. I, I think something just happened whenever I just put them in the tank. But for the most part, we have one of them, and then I do know a store that definitely owns some lemon ostrich so i'm trying to debate because they're not really as yellow as these this one is this specific lemon oscar is so i'm kind of debating on not getting it just because but who knows but we'll just see when we get there but most likely i probably will not get it because it's just not as yellow it looks like an albino oscar and i'd rather probably not have one of those but at the moment but yeah for the most part the Oscar is doing amazing. The goldfish are as well. Water is crystal clear. Everything is looking quite amazing. Comment down below your thoughts on what you guys think about this lemon Oscar because I feel like in four to five more months, she's going to be looking like these hungry little guys. And these guys are growing insane. Definitely comment your thoughts on these two tiger Oscars and these two albino Oscars the ruby oscar and the albino tiger so comment down what you guys think below but these guys are ready to give you guys a show so i'll get to you guys in a second but yeah for the most part i am thinking about moving the um oscars outside maybe not quite in june july but maybe like august september because it's still gonna be hot but i will have the heater and other things of that nature so we definitely gonna get the show on the road and hopefully these guys will grow like grow really really big because that's gonna be a lot of water volume for them so hopefully they're like almost 17 inches 18 inches which is very possible but yeah other than that though this 29 gallon is holding up but i will say in the next two to three months i probably will have to move this oscar out of this tank and actually put what i was supposed to put in this tank because it's actually making me kind of mad but 
the Lemon Oscar is definitely gonna be one of the ones that I hold some slack to. But for the most part, I am gonna drop some food in. I'm from getting sidetracked. I am gonna drop some food in. I'm, I'm feeding them two little pellets, little cichlid pellets. You can get them at PetSmart. This is not a promo unless PetSmart really wanna sponsor me, but I think these are big. I hope they're not too big, but they might be big enough for the guy. Oh, no, nope, it's just right. So, yeah, I've been feeding them these from some on and all day. So, I would have to give them a mixed diet of some pellets, blood worms, beef parts, some cut up fish or shrimp, and things of that nature. So, and he, he or she actually loves it. So, just a heads up for you guys that actually want to go and buy some Oscars. You can just come right back to this video and just learn. Well, it might be a little too big for them, for them but definitely gonna make it work. One might be enough. I should have crushed it up, but this goldfish is getting big. So Oscar definitely not really picking on it. This one is coming along. But like I told you guys, I was supposed to move them out, but when I couldn't find the lemon Oscar, I just kept them in there because I was like, if I leave that Oscar in there, the Oscar's gonna get lonely. Which is a proven fact that like if you have one Oscar in the tank it's really going to get very lonely if it's just by itself super aggressive too as well but that's another reason why I might add another Oscar but probably won't be a lemon Oscar it might be like a tire Oscar or something like that but we'll just have to see and then then it also depends on what the pet store has like if the pet store don't have much then I'm not going to spend it I'm not even going to spend any of I'm not going to waste no money I'm buying a fish with pale color. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. But yeah, honestly, she is chomping it down to get the glass scrubber and scrub that algae out. But yes, you guys, other than that, let me get into some more details. So I am going to be like doing some tank kit setup videos and things of that nature because I know some people actually he finally digested it, but I know some of you guys like to see some of those videos based off of what I know you guys watch. So I'm gonna start doing that too. I'm thinking about going salt water as well, like a small salt water, but I know that's a lot harder because it's less gallons. So the bacteria and stuff, I really have to be on P's and Q's with salt water. And it's super, it's super, super expensive. So if you guys have salt water tanks, comment down below what, what, what you guys think is best. What's the best, what's the best route I can take to actually be successful successful in the salt water world because the fresh water world is quite easy and then there's different types you can do but for the most part i ain't really gonna chat too much on that i know this oscar is full off of those two pellets and as you guys can see he's just making a mess as he's eating it so i want you guys to actually look at the color i'm gonna put it in 0.5 for you guys like just imagine when this guy is looking like the Oscars in the 75. He's gonna have that color. Ooh, so aggressive with the red eyes. And that's what I'm saying. The ones at the pet store, they look like some albino Oscar. They just putting tags up. I ain't going for that. <laughs> I need it looking like this guy, cause this guy does look amazing. Yeah, but comment down below you guys' thoughts. But for the most part, the lemon Oscar is actually devouring his food and it is chilling. I wouldn't give you guys this boring content right here, but it's gonna be a minute before he chow down both of those pellets. But for the most part, man, comment down below what you guys think I should add. It doesn't really have to be an Oscar. It could be something that's in the Oscar family friendly. Um, gene, genetic, however you want to do it whatever fish you call it but yeah just comment down below what fish you guys think i should add like a cichlid jack dempsey catfish something of that nature but for the most part i'm really not going to hold you guys off too long i'm really just going to start and jump straight into the 75 so i catch you guys whenever i get over there all right you guys i'm at the 75 and as you guys can see it looks a little blurry but give me one second I think it's because the light's on the wrong thing. The 
car. That might be better. But yeah, you guys, so I got the four, the 18 sitting right here. These guys are from the green. They are from the green. And they are from the jump. That's what I'm saying. I can't wait to put these guys in the 1500 because it's going to be like some epic feedings, like epic GoPro footages and all. But yeah, for the most part, these guys are healthy, man. They, I just did a water change, uh, sun, not Sunday, Monday. I just did a water change, so yeah, it really supposed to be today, but I did it early because I did a filter change. So previous week so I ain't wanted to have no fish scares or nothing like that so I just kept it simple and as you got to see these guys look better than ever the new look is looking amazing check out this final tiger right here new growth is crazy and this ruby right here you can see her new growth she's actually growing off growing off all the black next year of her fans she's growing out all that Oscars and they've been doing too. So whatever I've been doing, they've been having a blast. These guys have been loving it. But I know these guys are definitely hungry, so I'm gonna definitely not even chop you guys' head off and go ahead and get you guys some bank footage. So the only thing is when I feed them these pellets, they're not gonna be as, as active afterwards because they're gonna be too busy trying to devour it. So they act quite different whenever you feed them different varieties of food. So just giving you guys a head up, heads up, so you guys don't be confused while the Oscar awesome eating crazy. So what I do, I put a couple in there to make sure they all eat. If they're not greedy enough, I'll put it. And I'll let them devour that. Once they devour that, then it's time to give them some more. Because they also will make a crazy mess, that's why I need some geophagus and go out somewhere. I probably will have to get one geophagus because if I get two, they have to be different sexes because if not, they're going to fight and kill each other. I've had them before, so that's how I know that. But I have to be one geophagus. They will go good with some ostrich. They will eat all of the pellets and stuff up. But other than ostrich, I would say goldfish myself because goldfish eat all of that up. I just don't have them in here because they actually will kill every single last one. You know. But yeah, you guys get the gist, but these guys, she's definitely looking aggressive. She finally got her. So I'm gonna put them on this one. They try to be so great. I think next video I might go feed them something more like from the earth so I might go like dig up some worms or go buy like some some live worms and I might feed these guys some night crawlers and other things of that nature so make sure you guys be staying tuned for these those videos because they're definitely going to be happy so I'm going to feed them a couple more and then I might jump turtle tank or I might just take the turtle out and put her in the 1500 because that's what I've been planning on doing so yeah, I'm gonna feed them a little bit more they're not too full because they're never too full especially she not but another thing when you're feeding them pellets feed them as much as they can consume in 10 minutes you're not even at 10 minutes yet Them too much at one time, somebody's gonna do on you on a table to do all of the food, but you don't want to feed like that because one, it makes a horrible mess, and two, you will have to do a water change, you will have to do more water changes than you normally do if your filtration is not picking up whatever they whatever they don't eat that comes out of the gill that you can see in the back of the tank. So, our next water change will be. 
probably this week and I will probably have to um dig in the gravel and things of that nature which you do every water change but it's just the fact this one might be a little bit more intense but these guys do look amazing though comment down below what you guys also think about these four limit these four Oscars not limit Oscars these four Oscars because these guys are looking amazing and these guys actually could go into the 1500 now one thing is I'm just waiting on the heater I'm actually waiting on them to go in stock once they go in stock then I can purchase it whenever they let me know about that email but I'm really excited about these two albinos though but for the most part when that pond project start we're gonna need tons of carbon though if we don't have tons of carbon it's not gonna be crystal clear we're gonna have some it's just gonna be it's gonna be clear but it's not gonna be like super super clear carbon works but off but if anybody that wants to sponsor me that knows carbon but fish please email me limit oscar right there he's cool for the day but yeah for the most part though that will basically conclude today's video with the fish and i will be going to get the turtle and putting her in the pond hopefully Hopefully that works. If not, I will just record a video of her in her 29 gallon. But other than that though, smash that like button, man. Make sure you guys subscribe. If you guys have not subscribed, please subscribe. And also comment down below what you guys think about the 75 gallon, the four Oscars and the limit Oscar over here. And also get me to 500. We're almost there. Once we get to 500, we're rolling. So let's do that. But for the most part, I'll see you guys in the next clip. What's good, YouTube? All right, we back. We had the turtle enclosure. I did actually feed her before I started the video, so that kind of could have messed up a lot. But she is chilling right now, though. See, she's chilling right now. I do got the light off at the moment, I'm giving her some natural light. But she's doing pretty good. She's probably hungry. Damn. Put up some right here. The two goldfish that I put in here are still in here, so she's not really a bad eater. But I did put two pellets in here, so hopefully she eat that and I get that footage for you guys. But then I will attempt to put her outside. But until then, man, comment down below what you guys think. Also, I'm waiting to get this this new filter system for the turtle, so I can actually fill it up and then put her on like a actually basking stand, like of her own, so it actually be cool. Cause I did say I was gonna move her outside, but she's gonna have to come inside during the cold months, no matter who where she is. But I do got to get my GoPro footage back going with the turtle because I do have one on YouTube. If you guys scroll back and see some of my old videos, you guys will see a whole video of this turtle with some music in the background eating, I think, fish or something of that nature. So I want you guys to go check that video out, then come back to this video and tell me what you guys think. Because this, this turtle has been going too. I had this turtle shoot for like that big, literally that big. Good. And they last about 25 years, so child, I ain't thinking 25 years from now. If you even last that long, that means I'll be like 45, like almost 50, because I'm 21 now, so I probably did the bath super wrong, but don't quote me on that because I didn't care. But, yeah, for the most part, you see the two goals for sure. Still hanging in, but she might be hungry again. Yeah, 
and she's super close, but I'm gonna feed her a couple more pellets. Hopefully that should be enough for her. Goldfish are like peanut cream, so. Boinks. She's so aggressive. Sorry guys, I just got amazed with her eating. She's tired now. Yeah. The two goldfish are clean up crew. It's pretty interesting how these goldfish have been alive for so long with the turtles. But obviously, because the turtle doesn't want to eat the goldfish. So, that's what I'm just going to call it. But, yeah, for the most part, man, you guys, this turtle did give you guys a, quite a banger. So, I'm actually quite surprised. And look at her sticking her head out the water. I'm actually quite surprised that she gave you guys that type of footage. But, for the most part, comment down below what you guys think about my rare ear slider. And also, while you're doing that, man, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. If you guys are new and you've made it this far, please hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications because we're on the road to 500 subs. So, beat me there, don't meet me there. But for the most part, this will conclude today's video. I probably won't put her in the pond today. I'll probably just do that starting the next video. So, make sure you guys be staying tuned for that because it's probably coming tomorrow. So, thank you guys for watching today's video and see you guys in the next one. Peace.